<laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back to this spacer. Uh, is it the same video or the next video? Okay, perfect. So we were continuing on from the last video. We made a perfectly square <laughs> spacer. However, we have the same problem in that it won't stay closed on its own. So what we're going to do is make a tab to keep this closed. So open up your spacer, the one you just made, and we're going to draw a tab. I usually freehand it. I mean, it, the tab should be about a third of the way down. It could be a half. I wouldn't do more than that. If you want to use a ruler, you can. If you want to freehand it, you can. It's absolutely fine. So all I've done is I've made this tab shape on the end. Follow? So all the pieces that I'm going to throw away, so I don't forget to throw them away, I mark a little X on that's just my practice. You don't have to do it, but it helps when there's lots more things going on. So all I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna cut. So again, I wanna leave the tab. I'll use this ruler, it's fine. I could freehand it too, it's fine. It's a little smaller. Okay, so now we've made this little tab. So to make sure that it stays, I'm gonna hold my spacer really tight together and I'm gonna put a little dot or an L, whichever, where the tab meets the perfect fold. So you'll see once you open it up, you have little marks. So next what I'm going to do is cut a line in between the two dots that I just made. Now because this board is fat or three millimeters thick, you have to make it a little bit wider. So you can either use a scrap, line it up, draw, so you get an approximation of the thickness of your board, or you can eyeball it, whatever you prefer. And you wanna make sure that you cut the thickness towards the edge of your spacer and not towards the fold. It just makes it a little bit tighter. Now, you can either poke it with your finger or you can take your bone folder and give it a stab. So now we have a nice notch. Last piece we're going to do, I'll just show you the notch, what it looks like. Next piece we're gonna do is just make sure we fold the tab so it folds nicely. So I'm taking my ruler and the bone folder and I'm just going across, pretty straightforward. Have a nice fold. So now what I'm doing is I'm just inserting one into the other and it just stays 